So when I was doing my engineering degree at university, I had a part-time job teaching maths to high school students. And I really loved that job because it was an excuse to turn my brain off. Because for me, you know, high school algebra compared to the kind of mathematics we were doing in engineering, it was something that was really straightforward. It had a methodical process. And although it looks really complicated from the outside, it's actually something that um, once you understand how it works, it's, it's really simple. And for me, that was kind of like the time where I would turn my brain off. And even, even to this day, um, I sometimes relax at the end of the day by doing sort of algebra stuff. And that might sound really weird, but some people use like a Sudoku or a crossword or something at the end of the day just as something to do. And those kind of puzzles as well, if it's your first time, if you haven't done one before, they might seem difficult. But if you do a Sudoku every night after work, you're going to get pretty good at them in, and you're going to be able to just sit down and you know exactly what you're going to do. So this was an example that I did uh, just the other night. The problem was I had a tomato and I wanted to know how to cut it into three with to make sure that it was like three equal volume pieces. Anyway, so I won't I won't go through what I did there because there's probably two types of people. You're either going to think, oh yeah, that makes sense. He just got the formula for that and solved it and, and it's pretty straightforward or it's going to look like gibberish. And so what this has to do with emotional intelligence is that it does look like gibberish if you don't understand it. And the, other, the second reason that I really loved this job teaching high school students was for their reaction when they finally sort of looked at me and said, that's it? Are you serious? That's, that's all I needed to do? Why did my teacher not tell me it was so easy? And it's almost like that was my goal. The whole goal of teaching was not to get the student to be able to do the maths problems. It was to get them to that realization this is actually really easy and the only reason I've struggled with it in the past is because the teacher wasn't explaining it in a way that I could understand. Because unfortunately, a lot of the time how things are taught are uh, you explain something once and if I say, no, sorry, I don't really understand, I don't really understand that, they explain it in exactly the same way. And what, it, what I need, if I don't understand, I need someone to explain it in a different way until we find a way that I actually can get to the bottom of actually what's going on. So emotional intelligence is really similar. It looks really complicated from the outside when you don't know what's going on. But when it finally clicks, when someone can explain what emotions are and how emotions work, in a way that makes sense to you, in a language that you can understand, then the reaction is similar. And this was my reaction when I finally figured out how emotions worked. It was, I cannot believe it is so simple. Why did nobody tell me it was this easy? So I might leave it there for today in, in, in that sense. This, was, this video is trying to give you a sense of, of my teaching style and why I, what I really love to do in my teaching, which is show that things that look really complicated are actually really simple if we can find the right language to help you understand how it works. So I've got an emotional intelligence course coming up on the 27th of May and um, which is quite a few weeks away from now. Um, but there's also a free introductory webinar uh, of how to learn emotional intelligence that starts on the 6th of May. So uh, check out the link um, in the website that I've just shown you here to see that. And I hope to see some of you at that if you're interested in learning more about emotional intelligence and turning what might seem really complicated into something really simple. So I'll see you then. Bye.